This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to fix something. It ended up, I'm not doing what I wanted to do with them, but I'm going to fix Brussels sprouts in my Instant Pot, and I've never done this before, so this is going to be a new experience for me. I've really only eaten Brussels sprouts roasted, and um, so this is definitely going to be different. All right, so I've got two bags of the steamable um, Brussels sprouts, and I've got one cup of water. I'm going to put in, I was going to fry some bacon, and I said, well, what the heck. I'm just going to use some of these, so I've got some real bacon pieces that I'm just going to put some of those in here and give it a little bit of a smoky taste. I've got one stick of great value butter. This is butter, not margarine. So y'all can thank yourselves for switching me, for getting me to try butter again. I didn't think I'd ever try it because I didn't, butter it was not something that I ever wanted to eat because it was, oh my gosh, butter used to have a horrible taste to it. But it's not so bad now. All right, and I'm going to, I've got a, um, probably three-fourths of a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper. And then I've got, I'm going to do about a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt. All right. Let me stir this up. I have learned the hard way that um, the pressure cooker, the Instant Pot, whatever you want to call it, enhances the flavor or the spices, the herbs, whatever you put in here immensely. So that's why I didn't put as much salt in here as I normally would have or pepper in here. Alright, so I've got my lid right here that I'm going to put on. Right, I've got it to sealing. Alright, and let me drop you down. I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, now I have the steam. This is the 8 quart um, Instant Pot, by the way. And I have the steam button on here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the manual, and then I'm going to bring it all the way down, and I'm going to do two minutes on here. All right. All right, there it goes. So now it'll take a while for it to come up to pressure. And then I'm just going to, um, I'm not going to be in any, any hurry to get them out. So I will bring you back after a while and we'll taste them and see what they taste like. Okay, I'm back. All right, I'm just eating a few of these and they are so, so, so mushy. So mushy. But I've just got a few on a plate to eat because these are for dinner or whatever. Oh, wow. They definitely have got a good taste. But they are... I let them sit in here for 35 minutes. So they definitely, without taking the steam off. So they're definitely mushy. Um, all right, let me show you. You can see they're definitely. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. They're definitely good. They're definitely good. And there's the bacon bits. And the salt is just the right amount of salt on them. So, and they, I mean, I like a mushy like this. I really do. 
but I think that if I'd have gotten them out when the pressure, when they first started instead of, I wasn't even worried about it. I was sitting outside with talking, talking to Regina and wasn't even really worried about them, but, um, they are good, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and below there'll be links to different things that you can get that I use from, like, Amazon, and there'll be a link to my Facebook, my Twitter, um, to Zacon Farm Fresh Meats, where you can see if they come to your area and see the price of these. I'm getting ready to get um, 40 pounds of chicken breast soon, and so I'll be freezing a lot of that. Zacon has, I ended up getting, being able to get them for, um, it wasn't, wasn't even a dollar a pound. I paid $35 for um, 40 pounds, but I had some credits, and I had, and I got a uh, deal where they were doing a dollar forty nine a pound, and they gave you twenty percent off. So um, of that price, so I ended up being able to get forty pounds of Zacon um, chicken breast, uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast for thirty five dollars. So I couldn't very well pass that up. But anyway, you all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.